Hey guys, this is Peter Schmuck. You're watching my film diary. Okay, I've watched SpongeBob Sponge Out of Water. It is a good SpongeBob movie. It's better than the first SpongeBob movie. It's more, I would say, true to the Sponge story. Although it is not made for adults at all, there's no underlying jokes like most animated films uh, that came out the last few decades. It's purely for kids. Um, if you're a Spongebob fan, definitely go watch it. Um, it's better than the last few seasons of Spongebob by far. They did put time and effort into it. The beginning of the film takes its time to explain and sets up quite a good premise. With Antonio Banderas as the lead antagonist. It's enjoyable, he does a good role there. It's not what we want Antonio Banderas to do, but he does make a great uh, childhood villain in, in it. And of course the movie's about Steve and Krabby Patty and how they get it back. And there's some few magical books in it and stuff like that. Quite enjoyable. Um, for a for a kiddie's Spongebob film, it's true to its nature. It really is. It's, it's, it's a fun time. It's not at all disappointing. I thought it was going to be a terrible movie. Um, then the live action CGI of Spongebob and Friends is a parody on the Avengers, which I found quite funny and it's actually quite well done. Um, the CGI of the birds that talks to Antonio Banderas is done really well. The jokes are funny. I would say this is a step up of the series. I don't know if everybody else feels this is a good time. And I won't watch it again, although one day when I have kids, I'll probably show this to them, most definitely. If you are a Spongebob fan, please do watch this. If you're not a Spongebob fan, it's not that critical that you watch it, although it is a fun time. Okay. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is Peter Grunewald speaking. And, you're, uh, and please comment down below, tell me how I can improve my channel.